Yellow Productions presents a video review of the Hotel Metropolitan Nagano in Nagano, Japan. The Hotel Metropolitan Nagano, that building right there, is a 12-story hotel and it's located directly adjacent to the Nagano JR train station, which is really cool because this is where the Shinkansens come in. Uh, so in this video, I'll show you around the uh, hotel common areas, one of the rooms, and I'll give you a review on the Topher scale. Stay tuned. This is the hotel lobby. Check-in is performed there in the back on the left. There's a few sofas in the middle. Over here to the right is the hotel's restaurant and cafe. Uh, they serve breakfast in the morning. It seemed like a popular place for tea and pastries in the middle of the day, and they have dinner here as well. One of the neat things that was in the hotel lobby was a diorama of Nagano. Right here is the Hotel Metropolitan, that 12-story brown building. And then over here on the right is Nagano's main attraction, the main temple in Nagano. The hotel is directly adjacent to and actually connected to the JR station. This second floor right here, that second floor actually connects on a bridge to the hotel, which is really convenient if it's raining or snowing. And if you're looking for something to eat, like lunch or dinner, the third floor of the train station, right where I'm pointing to, has lots of eating options. There's a really good soba restaurant and a really good uh, katsudon restaurant. Uh, they provide breakfast uh, in the lobby of the restaurant, uh, which was really interesting. They had a sign that advertised waffles and pancakes, uh, which when we went for breakfast was funny. There were no waffles and pancakes for breakfast, only waffles and pancakes for lunch and dinner. This is room 934, a superior twin room. Let me show you around the room. Uh, as you come in the room, there are two superior twin beds. Uh, Topher's made himself nice and comfortable here. Um, there's these buttons uh, on the dashboard here, dashboard, headboard, that you can use to control all the lights in the room, including turn on some foot lights down there. There is a little clock right here. Um, what else have we got? Back over this way, in the back of the room, there are two of these lovely sitting chairs with a table in the middle. Um, there is a window that uh, looks right down on the train station, right beneath it. Uh, there's an air purifier over on this side of the room. Here's the television. Underneath the television, in the drawer, uh, they've got it open a little bit so you can wear some of the pajamas that they give you for the room. The other drawers are empty for you to put your stuff in. Next to the television, there's this cool thing, which uh, is a desk lamp. Yeah. I've never had a desk lamp quite like that in my room, so that's neat. Uh, there's a telephone, a big mirror. Here there's a place to put your suitcase, a little safe. And uh, just to the right of that, we've got uh, this little buffet that has a mini refrigerator down here. Above the mini fridge, there's a hot water pot and a couple of cups and a tea set. Behind the buffet is the in-room closet that has uh, a few hangers and something that we had in our last hotel room too, this little refresher spray that you can refresh your clothes to smell nice and fresh. Mm. Uh, the final part of the room uh, is the bathroom over here which uh, is a fairly typical modular Japanese bathroom, though this one's a pretty good size. It has the uh, fancy, um, what fancy toilet, the washlet toilet. There's a sink. There's a box here that has a hair dryer in it. Uh, all the lovely amenities you'd want in your room, including individually wrapped Q-tips. Those are very important. And the final part of the room, bathroom, over this way, is the bathtub and shower. Uh, it's a large soaking tub that also has a handheld shower head. Okay, Topher, it's that time of the video. It's time for us to do a review. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, well, overall, we really enjoyed our stay here at the hotel. Uh, the room was quiet, the beds were comfortable. Uh, the room at the hotel is very convenient to the train station. It's literally right next to it And even though it's right next to it, we couldn't hear the trains at all. We just finished breakfast and uh, breakfast was quite delicious um, The price for the room and breakfast was $140 all-inclusive for two people 
and the breakfast had all of the uh, specialties of Nagano. Uh, there was the buckwheat noodles soba, there were apples that were uh, grown in Nagano and were peeled as well, so the breakfast was very delicious. Um, the one con that uh, we did find sleeping in this room is the air conditioning is lousy or maybe non-existent. I set the temperature to 18 degrees Celsius and uh, the room stayed at a, at a cozy 24 degrees Celsius uh, most of the night. So I think it's because it's in a cold place. They probably don't have the air conditioning on yet because the temperature outside is four degrees Celsius. And actually looking out the window, uh, you can see the snow off in the distance. But uh, all that being said, uh, our overall rating that we're gonna give the hotel is four and a half Tophers. So if your travels bring you to Nagano, Japan, check out the Hotel Metropolitan Nagano for a nice hotel convenient to the station and that's pretty inexpensive. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it every Sunday, please subscribe or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Thanks. Bye-bye. You might also enjoy watching one of these other videos from Japan. Click any of them to watch. Links are also in the description below.